We're making a gallon of delicious Mexican-style horchata. All you need are a few simple ingredients and a blender. This is super easy to make, so let's get started. First things first, we need two cups of long grain white rice. I'm gonna take this to the sink real quick and rinse off the starch until the water isn't cloudy. Be right back. Okay, the rice has been washed. Now we need two sticks of cinnamon crushed. And we're gonna toss this in with our rice. Next, we need half a cup of sliced almonds. I'm using a fourth of a cup here, that's why you see me use it twice. Next goes in four cups of water. Now this needs to soak for at least five hours, preferably overnight. Soaking is a must, you really can't skip this part. I covered mine and let it soak in the fridge overnight. Another way you can soak your rice, which I thought resulted in a better product, was using boiling water over room temperature water. Simply boil the four cups, add it to the rice, and once the bowl has cooled down enough, safely place it in the fridge. Both options work well, I just think the boiling water works slightly better. Once your rice mixture has soaked for five hours or overnight, for me it was overnight, carefully dump everything into a blender. You know your rice is ready when you can break it in half with your fingernail like this. And depending on the size of your blender, you might have to do this in two batches. My blender is pretty big, so I was able to get it all done in one. I have a smoothie button on my Ninja blender, which I cycled through twice. The goal is to break down the rice and almonds as much as possible. Okay, we're ready for the next step. Okay, we've got our rice mixture, a gallon pitcher, one can of each of sweetened condensed milk and evaporated milk, a cheesecloth, and a fine mesh strainer. I did make this with and without a cheesecloth for science. If you only have a metal strainer, I suggest straining your rice mixture at least twice. You won't be able to remove all the rice particles. It will still be slightly gritty, but the end product will still be extremely delicious. If you do have small children, it might be best to use both a cheesecloth and a strainer. If you are using a cheesecloth, which I recommend, you'll more than likely have to strain the rice mixture in three batches. I found the straining process goes a lot quicker once you've filled it up, gathered it up, and sort of lightly bounced it on the strainer like so. It looks a little ridiculous, but I think it's better than waiting for it to slowly filter on its own. Let's take a look inside one of these. Nice. Once you've done straining a batch, this rice can be discarded. Pour in the next batch and continue on. After we've strained everything, this is what we're left with. Hardly looks like anything, right? Don't worry, at this moment, this is very concentrated. To this, we're gonna add in one tablespoon of vanilla extract, the can of evaporated milk, and the can of sweetened condensed milk. Also to note, when you go to taste test this, if this is not sweet enough, you can add up to one cup of regular white sugar. This is based on other recipes I was glossing over while doing my research. They all seem to suggest one cup. That does seem like a lot to me. Sweet tea alone uses two cups of sugar, and this already has sweetened condensed milk in it, so I decided to add in a fourth of a cup off camera and that seemed to make it perfect. I personally wouldn't add in any more than that. Once everything has been mixed in, we're gonna add in two cups of milk. I use 2% milk. If you're lactose, use almond milk. Same for the sweetened condensed milk. I have seen a lactose version at the grocery store. Give everything a good mix. And as you can see, it's still pretty thick. We're gonna fill this up the rest of the way with good old water. Six cups, I believe. And there you have it, delicious horchata do garnish with ground cinnamon. I have some here in this pretty pitcher. How fun is that? Having lived in SoCal just five minutes from the border surrounded by excellent Mexican restaurants, I have to say this is about as close as I'm gonna get. I currently live on the East Coast in the South where sweet tea is the drink of choice. So it's nice to have something this nice that reminds me of home. Thanks for watching and if you like this video be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out and I'll see you all in the next video.